Hey, how y'all doing? B-Dog Jr. back with you. I got my bug zapper out of storage. It's about that time of year again when bugs are going to start uh, swarming around us. And uh, especially in my part of the world, I'll show you guys. It's the Stinger Bug Zapper. I've had it for about 10 years. Um, yeah, I still got the box for it. That's where I keep it when I'm not using it. Actually, I think I've only used it maybe twice, once or twice, whenever I was working in the garage after dark. I've got it plugged in right now. It's got, it's got an AC adapter that plugs into the wall and keeps the battery charged. You turn it on. Where it's got the uh, black light there, that means that the electrodes are charged. If you look close, I'll turn the light on. <laughs> I think there's a bug stuck in one of these electrodes. There he is. <laughs> I guess he got zapped. Either that or he died from old age. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> if you turn the switch to the... There's a switch right there. If you turn it to the other position, it actually turns a fluorescent light on. Provides some illumination. If you're camping. Let me turn this light off. Let me turn the overhead light off. And we will simulate a bug flying into this thing. Put it back on zap mode. There we go. We'll simulate a bug flying into this thing with my um, trusty needle nose pliers. piece of celery some old celery that I just I was getting ready to throw it out anyway the edges are starting to turn brown on it that's no good let me turn the lights off for effect okay I got all the lights off piece of celery flying in from the north It must be a dry part. So are you supposed to be wet? Let's try the other end here. Whoo, that was a good one. <laughs> I guess the bugs have to hit it just right. Make sure the bugs are attracted to the ones that work, huh? <laughs> okay. I'm sure you guys are thrilled with that. Okay, I'll show you guys a little safety feature that it has. In case you decide to, un if you uh, forget to unplug it, and you want to empty the bug tray at the bottom. It's got a safety switch in there. See that red roller switch? Automatically shuts the power off so nobody gets electrocuted. And push the bug tray back in. Power comes back on. They do uh, sell some chemicals that go in there, uh, scented stuff that's supposed to attract more bugs. I ran out of the, the little packets. That's what they are. They're called lures. It's like fishing lures. <laughs> Except these are chemical 
to attract bugs. Ten to fourteen feet. Who knows if they even sell these things anymore? Like I said, I've had it for ten years, but uh, I figured I'd pull it out and do a review on it. You can see I've removed some of the uh, plastic fencing around it. So mine's no longer uh, child resistant. At least not as much as this one is. The one on the box. This is B Dog Jr. Over and out. They'll take care.